Barry Kling live here with Suzanne Slimmers and the Thigh Monster. Let's take some calls for Suzanne. Hello, Bangor, Maine. Um, Suzanne, how do you stay looking so good? Three words. Thigh Monster. <laughs> I could watch that for hours. The President and I are pleased with the manner in which we are moving toward the 21st century. By building a very long bridge... Elbow's just going to keep on talking, isn't he, Blaine? Bridge. Yes, Pinkwood. But at least we know where all that wind was coming from in the last chapter. With only two weeks until the election, the maverick social philosopher come politician Ulysses Delano Fitzgerald Melhouse Pinky, known to his friends as Ladybird, has announced his candidacy for president. <laughs> George Soros' uh, dinner at Davos is a bit of an institution at this event. We do, uh, he usually comes out with strong criticism of something uh, that he feels is troubling for the state of the world. He didn't hold back either when talking about the US president, saying that he was describing him as a con man, an ultimate narcissist. Even the fate of the world uh, could be at stake in 2020 and the years to come as well, perhaps referencing there the upcoming, of course, election in the United States too. So George Soros really, you know, using his platform here at Davos to speak to those, you know, rich and famous who come to the World Economic Forum. Uh, we know that he's, uh, in the past, has been a major donor to the Democratic Party in the United States. He didn't say anything about which candidate he might be supporting in the Democratic primary, uh, but certainly uh, no holding back on his criticism of President Trump. So what's this all about? I think you know. I think we all sort of in our hearts, we kind of realize what's going on here. This is not about COVID anymore. This is about a, a reset of everything. And the United States of America is in the way right now of all of it. So they are destabilizing our entire country. Joy 
Saudi Arabia has appointed 10 women in senior roles at Islam's two holiest sites of Mecca and Medina. The women have been appointed across various departments, including administrative and technical. The general presidency for the affairs of the two holy mosques said that the recruitment drive is aimed at empowering Saudi women with high qualifications and capabilities. The two mosques gave leadership roles to 41 women in the year 2018. The appointments come as part of what has been described as a liberalization drive spearheaded by Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, 